and welcome to the Ward 6 Council Show. I'm Meg Salyer and today we're going to visit with Shannon Welch, who's the Director of Community Health for the Oklahoma City County Health Department. Welcome Shannon, it's so nice to have you here. Thank you, it's so glad to be here. Uh, you guys have the most amazing campus out on Northeast 23rd Street, Northeast 63rd Street, yes. excuse me, that houses so many programs. Yes. Um, for viewers that haven't had a chance to be out there, could you first of all tell us a little bit about the campus and then we're going to get right to the heart of the matter, which is Open Street. Sure. Well, we're so excited because that is our first health and wellness campus and so if people come out to the campus there's walking trails that they can walk on which it's the weather has been wonderful so it's open for everyone in the community to come out and walk there's also what distance of trail do you have? Sure, well, there's an ADA trail on the closest, and that's about a quarter of a mile around. But oh, if you go all the way down into, you know, a more graded trail area, mm -hmm. down it gets into a composite trail, it's um, a mile totally if you go the full length of the trail. Great. So you, so really you could just do mile workout. laps if you want to get in yes. a good workout or yes. if you need the ADA accessibly accessibility, it's just right there. Yes, absolutely. Fabulous. And there's the playground. It's so wonderful to see parents bringing their kids to play on the Kaboom playground that was built a few years ago. I remember doing and that. So was that a Blue Cross and Blue Shield project? It was. Project? Blue Cross Blue Shield helped to fund With that. With the neighborhoods. And, yes, and yeah. then um, Wellness Now Coalition members came and helped build that playground. And so we're really excited to see a lot of use. Great. Um, other things that are partners are also happening out there. You have a new partner building. Yes, we do. That just opened up in December, so we're gearing up for our grand opening. So really excited about this. We've been planning for years for our integrated model to implement that system. So we have partnerships there with you know clinic, primary care, behavioral health, and then also our public health services. So we wanted to offer that for clients so that when they come to our campus, we can meet as many of their needs as possible. So we're really excited to have that now up and running. Great. One-stop health shopping. Yes. And the other thing that I love that you do is the um, cooking classes, demonstration, nutrition education. Yes, yes. So there in the campus, we also have our building where we can do cooking demonstrations. There's a training kitchen there. And so lots of other organizations will come and host just as a way to teach people healthy cooking techniques exactly. and way to incorporate healthy cooking into everyday life. So I think I'm going to sign up. <laughs> I Great. Think now I need to. <laughs> and the other exciting thing, and it's not part of your campus exactly, but the um, Oklahoma City Energy oh, yes. has their new yes. practice fields yes. uh, immediately to the east of you. Absolutely. It's such a wonderful partnership. We're, we're so thankful to have that and to just have that opportunity for them to come to the campus and then to also reach the community surrounding so the schools around to be able to come and have an opportunity Absolutely. to practice and learn more about soccer and maybe find interest in a new sport that they didn't know that they may have had before. Collaboration is one of my favorite words and there's lots of it going on yes. on Northeast 63rd Street. So, Absolutely. Um, we want to talk today about an upcoming event. Um, um, this is your third annual, I believe. Yes, well, third, third annual, and fourth event. Fourth event, yes. third annual, um, Open Streets. So tell our viewers what the concept is. Let's talk a little bit about the history and, sure, and then what's sure. happening on April 3rd. Oh, yes. Well, the purpose of the event is to encourage active modes of transportation. So. It's a local health and wellness project that's sponsored by the Oklahoma City County Health Department's Wellness Now Coalition. And we do it with partners. We collaborate on it, you know, as we talked about, yeah. it's so important. And so with the event, we hope to get people out and active on a Sunday afternoon. So we shut down a portion of busy street for four hours. So that's the first big thing for and that's people to first. know is that we shut down a big portion of the streets yes. to get people out moving. Yes, and so when we did our first event on 23rd Street, we partnered with Uptown 23rd on that, shut down from Western to Robinson. Didn't know what kind of turnout we would get, but the community blew us away. We were so overwhelmed and proud of the support for the event. And so we had 20,000 people come for the first time. I remember just being stunned, standing on um, sort of at an intersection, looking both east and west. Yes. And there were seas of people and yes. families with strollers and yes. young people on skateboards and rollerblades. And it was mm -hmm. just fabulous. It was. It was such a wonderful day and event. And so now we've had a second event on 23rd Street. And that time we had 30,000 people <laughs> come out. And so one thing that the community really shared with us as a part of that event is that they wanted space to be able to ride their bikes. Because, of course, that is what we want people to be able to get out and be active 
interactive and to have the space to do so. Mm -hmm. So we're excited for this upcoming event. We've been able to expand our route. So lots of opportunities for people to be able to bike ride. Great. So the first two events were held on uh, 23rd Street, really in Uptown. Yes, uh, yes. Neighborhood. Uh, last fall, you did an event uh, in Southwest Oklahoma City. Yes. Um, and it really was a very inventive um, route. We incorporated both yes. um, Calle Dos Cinco, 25th yes. Street, and uh, La 29, yes. 29th Street, um, in a bit of a box shape. Yes. And so yes. tell us a little bit about that. Sure. Oh, goodness, that event. It was so wonderful to see when the community came out. They were very happy and thankful that the event was there and so it was wonderful seeing all, a lot of families that came out for that event and so you see the little kids practicing sprints or um, doing the sidewalk chalk and so it was a lot of fun. And lots of our health care providers have booths, yes. uh, provide material, yes. talk about healthy lifestyles, Absolutely. talk about the benefits of moving, talk about good nutrition, you yes. know, all those sorts of programs. And that is, and that's a requirement for being a part of our event. So we want each organization to provide some sort of activity that will either get people active physically or mentally. And for the South event, one thing that we did that was different, we had a group out doing health screenings. And we weren't sure if people would access that or not, but they did. And so that showed us that that's also another good activity to have out at the event because it's important for us to know our numbers and Absolutely. to know where we stand. Now, what a great idea. So uh, we're in the planning for a second event in the same area. I think maybe we decided to cut the distance yes. back a little bit. Yeah, so probably for the next, for the fall, we do want to look back going south again, and then for other areas of Oklahoma City as well. I actually been talking to some folks to try to brainstorm um, every, you know, districts all over town. Yes. I mean, I think, you know, the Plaza District might be natural, but yes. um, 23rd Street over in the Windsor neighborhood would be a good one. It's, absolutely. Um, we could easily do Northeast 23rd Street. Yes, um, absolutely. As an example. I, I, I think there are places, um, you know, down around I-240, where we've got commercial retail corridors, because one of the fun things for mm -hmm. people to come out and experience are all the new restaurants and local retail shops that are popping up. Exactly. And so you never mind, we're, as a New Yorker, I know you never mind walking mm -hmm. even miles and miles and miles if yep. there's stuff to look at, things to stop and do. Yes, yes. A place to sit down and have a cup of coffee or a exactly. glass of water or an ice cream cone or something. Yes. And that's what we love about this event too because it also helps promote the local economy because as we're driving in our cars we don't always take the time to see all of the new shops and businesses that have opened up and so with this event it gets people out of their cars and on foot or on bike and so they notice and take note of new businesses that they maybe didn't know about before. Gosh it's wonderful. So you really have expanded the route um, yes. on 23rd Street this year. So yes. Talk about, people can come from a long distance on their bike or on their rollerblades. Talk about how this is going to work. Yes, they can. So we have our original route still set in place on 23rd from Western to Robinson. But this time we're also partnering with the Paseo Arts District. And so That's our great. route will be able to go up Walker and tie into Paseo as well. And then right from 30th and Paseo, if you cut over to Chartel, there's a bike path mm -hmm. already there. Great. And so people can come out and ride their bikes on that dedicated bike path you can go all the way up to 50th Street. So people could come from a long way riding their bike to get to the event. So we're really happy to be able to provide that. Fabulous. I, I think it's just going to be so much fun. And I, it ties so beautifully in with, you know, some of our MAPS projects that we've been working on. Yes. There are sidewalks springing up all yes. over. Every yes. quadrant of our city has new sidewalks to encourage people to get out Absolutely. and walk. We've got fabulous trails now. You can bike all the way from Lake Overholzer down to the Oklahoma River. We're working on that yeah. I-44 trail, which will be a little bit more yeah. urban, but, you know, essentially get you from uh -huh. Lake Hefner down to the river. Um, it's incredibly exciting, and it I is. think um, you may have some health statistics right at your fingertips, but, you know, I know we're beginning to see some positive um, in 
indications. Yes, we are. We're starting to see some improvements. I mean, the city has been such an amazing partner and leader in helping to promote health and wellness by having all of the trails and the bike paths that are there. So we're hoping for this event to be able to also make the community more aware mm -hmm. of the opportunities that are out there for people to be able to go out and be active. Exactly. Uh, and there are partners just all across the board. I happen to serve on the um, Oklahoma Caring Foundation Board, which yeah. um, has a series of vans that service the state, providing immunizations yes. um, and wellness screenings um, for children. And um, they're now reaching every corner of the state, but I know they partner um, very closely with City County Health yes, yes, um, they do. in providing those. And we've seen you know, incredible statistics. And I, I actually, you know, heard something yesterday about the millions of diseases that mm. are prevented and the hundreds and hundreds of thousands of um, people that are helped and the billions of dollars saved yes. um, in healthcare costs um, by um, young children being immunized at the appropriate times. Yes, so, um, absolutely. You guys are, I, I see the state statistics inching up, you know, bit by bit. We've yes. been down in a very unpleasant we have. 47, 46, 45 range, and it's really nice to see those things begin to, it is. to inch up. Is there anything that we can help you with? Do you need volunteers? Oh, yes. We're always in need of volunteers. It's a huge event, and it's a lot of fun, too, and so we do need volunteers to sign up for the event and so if you visit our website openstreetsokc.com there's a link there to sign up. Great and what would people be doing uh, sure. as an example? Well we need route rabbits is one thing especially now. <laughs> Tell me what a route rabbit is. Route. So yes a route <laughs> rabbit is someone who brings their bike to the event and they ride up and down monitoring so it may be Great. delivering bottled water to volunteers who need it or just checking in to share information back and forth along the route and so we need those eyes because the route especially being longer now Absolutely. and it's non-motorized events so in order to get around we do we bring our bikes out so we'll need route rabbits and then also intersection monitors mm -hmm. and then we always have a bounce house so those to monitor that as well so we're going to hope it's not a windy day. Yes <laughs> we are going to hope it's not a windy day. We have been just so blessed with the weather for oh, the these weather events has been it, thus it, far. It, it's somebody smiling on you because yes. the weather has been <laughs> absolutely glorious for yes. each one of those yes. events. And so as long as the wind yeah. stays hopefully calm, we'll be well. And well, and we've got food trucks out. Um, yes. And with a bent toward health. Yes, and, and so <laughs> that's the great thing about it. And the food trucks who are going to be a part of this event, we have 20 who are signed oh up goodness, to be great. at the event in April. And they are have all been so wonderful and supportive. They all are having a healthy option. Great. And they'll be in different locations. Yes. So yes. as you travel from one end of 23rd to the other, or as if you move up Walker, um, and then uh, move up to the Paseo. I know there'll be spots all the way along. So yeah. it's going to be a great event. Again, it's April 3rd. We're really looking forward to uh, getting out and moving and yes. keeping and getting Oklahoma City healthy. So Absolutely. thank you so much for coming. I really thank appreciate the information. Me. It's great to see you. Good to see you.